Children's hospitals across the country are getting swamped with RSV cases, and there is concern that a twin rise in flu and COVID cases could strain the resources of other hospitals. So how are we doing in Connecticut? Well, we're not getting hit as hard as other places yet, but give it time. Let's try to show you some of the early signs. First of all, I want to start with public health surveillance here. This is out of all the people who come to the hospital emergency departments, what percentage, percentage of them are showing symptoms of a flu-like illness? This blue line here represents the 2020-2021 flu season with week one starting in late August. Now, during the height of COVID, when people were staying inside, these flu levels were way lower than they were in years past. As you can see, they averaged a little over 4%, maybe right at 4%. This year's data in orange right here, we've got it through the end of October so far. You can see, boy, we had that beat right from the start. But what about pre-pandemic levels? Let's switch this blue line now to represent the 2019-2020 flu season, one season earlier. Compared to then, this flu season started more active still and is now right around 10% this time when three years ago we were around 6%. And as you can see, the biggest separation happened in just the last couple of weeks. All right, what about COVID now? The state also tracks the percentage of COVID-like illnesses in emergency departments. Once again, this year here is in orange. The blue line represents the 2020-2021 season where COVID got to eh, right about 7% or so of all visits. So far, once again, we're starting well ahead of that pace. Really, the only time here where we didn't start above previous baselines was compared to last year's COVID season, which, as you can see, had a much higher peak than the year before. And while at least this time around we started in the same place and we just saw a little dip in the past week, we are still running ahead of that pace as well for now. So we're going to see what happens in the next couple of weeks. We did get some good news there with that one little tick down. But the question is, is that the start of a trend or are we going to see it shoot up even past where we've been in previous years?